<laughs> this is Nick Zegmore. You're watching Post to Post from the Chicago Blackhawks at St. Louis Blues. Hello and welcome to Post to Post, the channel where we discuss all things hockey and all teams. AP, thank you for joining me for this video. I appreciate it. If you guys want to go check out his channel, there's lots of Toronto talk, there's lots of NHL talk over on his channel. I'll link it down below. In this video, we're going to take a look back in time at the 2005 NHL draft. A long time ago, I did some videos on the 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003, and 2004 drafts. I think they're all on the channel. You can probably find them. Today's 2005. It's been a long break in between 2004 and 2005 videos, but we're back. I want to go through the draft, look at the entire first round, and then look later in the draft and see what players came from where. I promise you, if you're not familiar with this draft, you're going to be completely surprised at some of these late uh, round picks and even some of these first round picks. So I'm going to kind of hide this paper from you because it's kind of the same thing. You don't know some of these positions. So this was the year that Sidney Crosby was drafted, 2005. So uh, first overall pick, Sidney Crosby. Um, second overall pick. I told you it was Anaheim earlier before the video. Can you guess the player that you... Gets love. Uh, you're close. He was the year before, I believe. Oh, right. Um, Bobby Ryan. Oh, Bobby Ryan. Bobby oh, Ryan. my gosh. I can't... <laughs> oh, man. Third overall, Carolina. This one's a little more difficult. You probably won't get it. Oh, man. I'll give you a hint. He just signed in Pittsburgh. Oh, my gosh. I haven't... Defenseman. Good friends with Crosby. Oh my gosh! Def oh wait, is Jack Johnson? Jack Johnson. Oh man. Yeah, uh, so I, I didn't actually didn't know the Carolina drafted. Jack I didn't Johnson. either. Yeah, I had, that that threw me for a loop. I had there. no idea. Uh, four in Minnesota. This surprised the heck out of me that this person went fourth, but Benoit Pouliot. Oh, that's why I told you to wear the jersey. The guy on the back of the jersey. Pouliot's here. on the back of the jersey. Wow. Fifth, Carey Price. Yep. Sixth, Columbus. Gilbert Brule or Gilbert Gilbert Brule, you remember him? Probably not. Uh, barely. It's yeah. very foggy. Chicago at seven. Jack Skilly or Skill something. Yeah. Never. I, I don't think he ever played in the NHL. If he did, I don't remember. I'm pretty sure I, I've heard of that name before. San Jose at eight. You probably won't get it. Devin Setaguchi. Oh, okay. He uh, didn't have the career that he most people thought, but he did play in yeah. the NHL some. Ottawa was number ninth. They took. Brian Lee. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, Vancouver was 10th. They took Luke Bourdon. Um, 11th, L.A. Franchise player. Oh, is this Drew Doughty? Anze Kopitar. Oh, Kopitar. Uh, New York Rangers had 12th spot. They drafted Mark Stahl. And 13th, I'm going to start. The people who didn't really have careers in the NHL, I'm going to kind of skip. So Buffalo at 13th, meh. Washington at 14th, meh. Uh, New York Islanders at 15th, Ryan O'Mara, meh. Atlanta at 16th, nothing. <laughs> Phoenix at 17th, uh, Martin Hansel. Oh, okay, wow. Nashville at 18th, nothing. Detroit, 19th, nothing. Florida, 20th, nothing. Toronto, 21st. You're, oh, you're, the, you're the least fan. There's no way I'm going to remember this. Um, I was very they, young during this draft. <laughs> how old were you in 2005? Oh my gosh, I, I don't even remember. 10? Probably. <laughs> Like I was Nine. really, I probably didn't <laughs> care about any of the drafts at that point. Like I just seen the players come to the team. I was like, oh, okay. How do you get there? <laughs> uh, I'll give you a hint. They traded him away to Boston for what? Caberlet? Andrew That's Raycroft. Not, that doesn't make sense. I think they get Andrew Raycroft in return. Oh my gosh, was this the the Tuka Rask? Tuka Rask. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say Caberlet doesn't make sense. Uh, Boston at twenty second, nobody. New Jersey twenty three, nobody. St. Louis. 24th, they traded him away and he won a Stanley Cup. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm going to draw a blank here. TJ Oshi. TJ Oshi. I could not believe that he was drafted that long ago. I was going to say, that doesn't make sense. It's crazy. Yeah. I had no idea he was that old. Oh my gosh, TJ Oshi. I would have <laughs> never guessed that. Uh, Edmonton at 25th. Here's your hint. He, he was an Iron Man until he got suspended last season. Oh. Oh my gosh. Like on Anaheim. No. This is really going to bother me because <laughs> I know this name because I was going to make a video on this whole situation. I'll give you another hint. He shares your same first name as you. Kind of. This isn't Cogli... No. 
Andrew Cogliano. Oh, it is Cogliano. Okay. I was like, uh, uh, that long ago? 26, Calgary, no one. 27, Washington, no one. Um, Dallas, 28, Matt Niskanen. Okay. I completely forgot that Dallas drafted Nis- Niskanen. Philadelphia, 29th, Steve Downey. <laughs> oh. Uh, Tampa Bay, at 30th, no one. All right, here's where now we're getting to the other rounds. So Dallas, 33, drafted James Neal. Yeah. Completely forgot that Dallas drafted Neal. Steal. Total steal. 35, who would you say is a franchise defenseman in San Jose besides oh. Brent Burns? Oh, Edward Vlasic? You got it. Pickles. Wow. Pickles. Yeah. That's a steal. That was a total That's a steal. steal and a half. Uh, Detroit at 42, Ablicator. Colorado at 44, Stasny. Columbus, 55, drafted McQuaid. Now, McQuaid's not an amazing player, but he's but a player. That's that, a good steal. A good steal, yeah. Helped them win the Stanley Cup in 2011 in Boston. Pittsburgh, 62, Chris Letang. Wow. Anaheim, who I had no idea drafted this player at 63, Josh Bailey. Oh, okay. I completely wow. forgot really? that happened. And I completely forgot this one, too. 67, Columbus drafted Chris Russell. Oh, wow. Here's, the, here's a huge steal. L.A. seventy-two, Jonathan Quick. <laughs> How I know. Wow, but goalies sometimes it's up in the air, you know. Exactly. Uh, St. Louis at eighty-five drafted Ben Bishop. Okay. Florida at one hundred and five drafted Keith Yandel. Boston at one hundred and six drafted Sabotka. Chicago at one hundred and eight drafted Yarmolson. St. Louis at one hundred and fifty-six drafted Ryan. Reeves. Okay. Toronto at 216 drafted Strawman. Not bad. And the last pick, the very last pick of this entire draft at 230th, Nashville drafted Patrick Hornquist. Wow. It's pretty cool when you have, like, to see a player that was drafted last in the draft be such a crucial part of, of so many teams throughout his career. Yeah. If we look at the draft this year, can you name the person who was drafted last in like round oh, whatever? No. I can't. Well, so let's can hope you... let's hope he pans out to something. Exactly. <laughs> really. So, what was your if you can I'm sure you forgot some, but if you look at the list, what was the biggest surprise for you as far as Well, uh, I feel like some of those late picks, especially with goaltenders, it's like some teams are so hesitant to draft a goalie high because they're like, oh, I don't know if it's going to work out because it could blow up in front of their yeah, face. Right? I remember when Montreal drafted Carey Price and everyone was like, are you sure you want to draft a goalie that high? <laughs> yeah. Because usually people don't do that. Because with goalies, uh, they know when a goalie is good, but it's all about uh, developing. You played as a goalie. Yep. You, it's it's There's so much, so many little things in a goalie's game that needs to be developed by coaches and stuff. And um, so usually goalies don't actually break into the league until they're mid twenties or something like yeah. that. Matt Murray's a bit of an exception. Kerry Price is an exception. Um, Man, that Bobby Ryan pick. <laughs> I mean, Bobby Ryan, like he was, he was hyped up a, a, a quite a bit. And he he was a good player for stages of yeah, his career. He was really early on with Anaheim. He was really really good. Uh, the Kopitar pick at number eleven. Oh, yeah. That definitely haunts. A lot of teams, definitely <laughs> for sure. I mean, he could have been selected at number two easily. Can you imagine if he went seventh to Chicago? Kopitar, t- t- uh, Taves, Kane. Oh man, Keith, like amazing, unreal. Even even Anaheim, like he could have. If Kopitar went to Chicago in two thousand five, L A doesn't win those two cups. Nope, they don't. And Chicago probably wins more than three. Yeah, <laughs> and that a lot of Just people would pitch. not be happy about no. that. But hey, Kopitar's amazing. LA Kings fan, that's awesome. If Pittsburgh doesn't take Crosby, I know, uh, there was no question. Of Crosby course. was going first. But hypothetically, if Pittsburgh took Bobby Ryan over Sidney Crosby, Pittsburgh doesn't win. Anything. In 2009. They don't win or, anything. anything yeah. <laughs> really? Um, oh, man. If Crosby went to Anaheim in 2005, when Anaheim won in was it 2000. Seven, I think. I believe Ottawa. so. Yep. Uh, wow, they probably would have won some more around that time as well. Yeah. Getzlav, Perry, Crosby. I think they still had Pronger on the team at that time. I can't remember who was in net. Was it uh, what for Anaheim? Jaguar. Yeah, Jaguar. Yeah, yeah. So, it's amazing how just a pick in a certain area completely changes everything. So this is a great example, 2005, of of a draft where anything can happen. So I really enjoy looking back at the drafts. I encourage other people to do so as well. I'm going to do 2006 next. I'm not exactly sure when I'm going to do it, but it'll be coming up. So thanks, AP, for joining me for this video. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, hit the like button below. If you're new, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.
Adiós.